Weather on the fives. It is 625 here on a Friday morning, a very busy day yesterday when it came to the weather and we had talked about that low end severe weather risk. Well, there was one tornado warning issued late last night. Let me show you what happened. It was for Boone and Dallas County. It was in effect for only 17 minutes. Our Taylor Canoost was on the air the entire time. There was rotation indicated by radar and thankfully in the areas that were affected Woodward and Madrid, no major damage was reported there. Now there were a couple of reports of power outages. We've had a couple of trees down in parts of Madison County, so we will wait to see what the National Weather Service says in terms of what happened with these storms, but uh, it was a crazy night for sure. Thankfully, things are a lot quieter now, but it is still cloudy. It is still a bit damp out there to start the day. 68 the temperature right now when you step outdoors. It is muggy. We've got scattered showers around central, southern and northeastern Iowa in the Des Moines metro. Just some very light rainfall moving through at this point. In fact, I don't even know if I would call it rain. It's more like drizzle or mist this morning across southern Iowa. Still some sporadic showers near the Iowa Missouri border and those are moving into Centerville and it'll eventually be moving up into Creston here very soon. Again, it is warm. It is muggy. Temperatures are in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees around our area. As we go throughout the day, we expect decent weather by 11 a.m. 72. We will have some clouds. We will have a few Few scattered showers and thunderstorms by lunchtime and then later this afternoon we clear out and get a little bit of sunshine. The temperature today gets up to 80 degrees. Tonight we will have a quiet cloudy sky 66 the temperature and again we'll keep an eye on that rain chance today. Here's what it looks like on our future cast by 10 a.m. Sporadic showers around central and southern Iowa. They continue through noon but as we head into the afternoon that rain threat shifts to the east. The clouds start to break and the sun starts to come through. We'll have an ice Isolated severe weather threat again a level one east of I-35 for a few damaging wind gusts later on today. Here's our 10-day forecast sponsored by Whole Plumbing and Heating. Rain chances will be isolated in nature this weekend and high temperatures will be in the 80s. The rain chances go up Monday and Tuesday.